Yo, before I start this video, I just need you guys to know. Powerade gang for life, you already know what it is. That Powerade gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, nah, don't mess with that. It's Powerade for every day for life. I ain't messing with that Gatorade. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. That was the most extra intro ever. But why am I sipping Powerade? Why am I even doing all that nonsense? It's because today we're going to be talking about these. There ain't no Powerades. We're talking about the Gatorade ones right here. And your boy already doing the most with the intro, so might as well be extra, right? We don't got just one color. We don't got just two colors. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Three. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Ah, where's that? Four. Look at that. Bam. One, two, three, four. Got all four Jordans. Hitting up my bank account and destroying it. All right, so y'all don't know what it is. Talking about the Gatorade ones today. All four colors, that's right. I work Boxing Day, major shift. Right after work, went to pick these up. This very special one right here. You know why? Because this was the last one. Took it straight out the case. We're going to get in more into the details on all these after. But yeah, got all four of them. Secured the bag. You'll probably still find it at your local Foot Locker, so don't worry about that. I don't know about these ones though, but the rest of them, for sure, you're gonna find them sitting there. But yeah, anyways guys, so what's up, Shroy here from Just Another Style Channel, already know. I'm doing the most this season. I keep saying that, you know why? Because I really want to get back on this YouTube grind. And already, look at this beard. Oh man, it grew in. This is that exam beard. Just trimmed it up nice, looking like a lumberjack with a red shirt. White underneath, don't get it twisted. Guest gang too. I'm already laughing at myself because this is the most extra I've been. It's actually like 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock. I don't even know anymore. I just need to push these videos out. I got work in the morning. Let's get into it. All right. So we're going to be talking about the Gatorade ones, why I picked up all four colors because I actually want to compare and talk about them and give you guys a feel for it. A lot of YouTubers out there have gotten packages. Kais Omar, Bull. Tony D2 Wild, all these mans, they've been getting some fancy packaging, but you know me, I'm just going into my local Foot Locker, asking for all four, making some guys day with commission. So, that's it. Let's get into these shoes. So, the reason I want to, I want to put this out there that honestly, my favorite one of the Gatorade collection, and Gatorade, let me be honest, Gatorade killed it this year with Jordan Brand, the collaborations are dope. Clothing, everything wise, like Mike, they're really pushing it out there. The Carmine looking ones, the first sixes that dropped, not the biggest fan of those because I don't see myself rocking that colorway often. Even out of these four, these are more of a collection piece than anything else because who do you see yourself rocking this every day? Probably not, right? Maybe once in a while just to go all out. Maybe for just a statement piece and the fit. Same with these ones here. Honestly, this is the one I think for me. But I don't know. Honestly, the ones that are coming out, the green suede, those are the ones I want. Alright, so the reason I want the green suede over anything else is because it reminds me of the Macklemore, Macklemore, whatever. I honestly forget, but yo, when you mention Macklemore, Macklemore, however you want to say it, you got to mention Ryan Lewis. So shout out to Ryan Lewis because you ain't forgotten. But those are the ones I want. The Gatorade suede, the green suede. The reason I want that is only because it reminds me of the Macklemore ones or Macklemore sixes that he dropped. And those are so exclusive and limited. And the sixes with the suede is going to be limited too, but it's going to be a lot easier to get than the Macklemore ones. So I want to get those ones and I want to actually rock those and keep those ones. Out of these four, I'm going to go over which ones are my favorite, which ones are my least favorite, how I feel about the overall collection. So let's get into that right now. All right, so to go over the shoe and just give you guys the overall quality, the packaging, they killed it on the packaging. Inside the box, it says like Mike on the inside. So they have everything there. It's a Gatorade box actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they have Mike with the Gatorade logo on it. Let me see. I'm going to give you guys close-ups. Why am I even looking over there? I'm going to give you guys some close-ups with that. So the mic Gatorade over there with the Gatorade logo. The shoe itself has the Gatorade insignia at the bottom. All one color. So basically, the colors represent the flavors of Gatorade, if you guys didn't figure that out now. Orange. I think it's Arctic Blue or Arctic Ice. I forget what it's called. Lime. I'm going to call these ones the Purple Rains, but you know, this is great pretty much. So, those are the four flavors and the four colors they dropped. Orange is my best one out of the four, only because orange is my favorite color, and I feel like this is the most subtle one out of the rest. The rest of them are all neon colored, and this one just has a little more 
worn in. It's that orange peel color. This exactly reminds me of an orange peel. When you look at it, you see it, the leather on this or the pleather or whatever they use on this is a shattered backboard quality. People are right, it's so soft. Just to give you guys a close up and a feel for it, just it's so soft, so plush, the entire shoe. I feel like when you wear this, it's gonna break it in even more and it's gonna be even more, it's gonna add character to the shoe overall in my opinion. All right, so to get into which ones I actually like the most out of the four, uh, to be honest, I'm gonna start off with this one here. This is my favorite one, orange is my favorite color. If I was to rock any of these ever, it would be this one here. And it has the Gatorade on the bottom, everything. All of them have Gatorade on the bottom, but this one, it just stands out to me. This is my favorite out of the four. The laces that come with this one are the green with the um, orange aglets and white with the orange aglet. So those are the two lace combinations. I feel like I want to keep it neutral with the, all these shoes. Honestly, it's best to keep it neutral in general because I think that the shoe itself is already too loud and doing a color combination cross, it's dope. Like, it does remind me of Gatorade, whatever, all that good stuff, but it doesn't really appeal to me to make it stand out more than Aldrey is. I'm not trying to draw even more attention than rocking an all orange shoe outside. Next up, out of the four, I would say is these ones here. The Arctic Ice or Blue, whatever you guys want to call it. These ones here, it's a different blue. Honestly, a lot of people were expecting a different kind of blue, but this resembles the Gatorade Blue so much in my opinion. I don't have it, I only have Powerade in my house at the moment. But yeah, so the blue one here, honestly, is such a clean color. And right after this one, this is a close second. Like, you could honestly, if you're on your Chris Brown type of swag, you know, where you're rocking one shoe and the other shoe, you could honestly pull that off with these two over here. Like the color combinations together, wild, wild. And the contrast tongue, that's what I like about this one. That's why it's the second to me, it's a contrast tongue. The colors are so clean, it's perfect. The orange and the blue go so well together. Same with the Gatorade insignia over here, at the bottom Gatorade logo. Goes great. Sole is the same exact color on all of them. And if you look at this one here, with it, boom. Tell me that's not clean. If you were to rock this on one foot, that on one foot, boom. This one comes with orange laces, white laces, same orange aglets on all of them. Honestly, first, second, now we're gonna get into third. And the reason why this is the third shoe, and honestly, some people might have it higher up on the list due to exclusivity of this shoe itself would be this one. I honestly don't mess with this color too much. The flavor line might be cool, it is what it is. Like, the lime flavor Gatorade, if I was to go by flavors now, we're doing orange, lime, blue. We call it blue because I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know what blue is. Okay, if someone knows what the blue flavor actually is, maybe I'm just tripping because it's too late and I can't remember. Put it down in the comment section below. Let me know. And then purple because I just don't mess with purple Gatorade, honestly. But yeah, this one here came with white laces and I can't remember the other color, but it came with white laces because on this one here, I kept it to show you guys that it has a Gatorade tags on all of them. And this one here was the most exclusive of the four, in my opinion. I feel like. This one is the only reason they did such a low production of this one because I don't see I don't think this one was meant to be sold like it didn't sell as much but you know how it, everyone predicted with the Yeezys that yo the frozen yellows weren't gonna do good but it was only because of the limitness of the shoe that people liked it the color was trash like this one I wouldn't want to walk around looking like a human highlighter and all of them you do but this one you just stand out like a sore thumb like it's not my personal favorite color wise it's not that great but when it comes of exclusivity out of all four, this was the last one that I picked up from the store when I went to Foot Locker. Straight out display case, they brought it out, gave it to me because there's only one shoe in the box and shout out to a lady that realized it. Otherwise, I'd gone home with only one shoe and that would have been a problem. But this one here is a little more exclusive. I swear only two stores in the US had it, but resale isn't gonna be high on these. If you want these for your personal collection or anything like that, then you're gonna be fine, trust me. You're gonna get it for maybe like 40 bucks over retail top, so you're just gonna have to look around and wait for people to realize that they're holding onto a brick and just return it. Cause that's what most resellers do these days, you know? They just take things, use the 30 day limit. Like look at the last Yeezys, those didn't sell, but that's another video all on its own. And then finally, we got these right here, the purple ones. In my opinion, I don't mess with these at all. This is not my favorite colorway. Even for both of these ones are so low on the list because the transition with the orange tab just doesn't suit 
This one here, it's a little better than the limes. The only reason the limes are third is because it's a little more rare. This is just so common, and I don't see myself rocking an all-purple shoe. Like, I see this if you have um, a child. You're watching this video and you have a child. I honestly feel like this is something you give the grade school shoes. This is like one of those grade school sizes, those bay sizes. You give bay, you give someone like that. This is one of those shoes you give bay. Just color, color vibes and everything like that. If you're going for that Prince Purple Rain Swag or that Brodeen Brazy, you know what it is with that Future Flow. Then yeah, you rocking that purple, but besides that, I don't see anyone else rocking this shoe. It just feels off to me. It's just dull compared to the other ones. It's bright on its own in a way, but it's just dull. And this one comes with the orange laces and the white. And the orange just doesn't contrast as nicely. Like if I put two shoes together, it's okay. It's not great, but if you look at this combination together, you can actually see someone wearing this, like boom. If you're really trying to stunt, then you're really rocking those two together. You look at these two together? No, never. Maybe you could pull off this and this. It's still, it just, see that, See what I mean? The blue just pops, while the purple over here just doesn't. It just doesn't stand out as much as I thought it would. So this is my least favorite of the four. And I wanted to show you guys all four just to give you guys a comparison of how everything is as far as color combinations go. I'll give you my personal opinion. There's a lot of these out there. A lot of videos because a lot of people got sent videos on this stuff. And I ain't the biggest YouTuber out there. Y'all know that. Anyways, thank you guys for that support though. I really appreciate it. I just want to show you guys everything side by side. Give you that comparison. So you guys can see if this is actually something you want in your collection. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. In order from my most favorite on the right to my least favorite on the left. Look at that, let me twirl in this chair for you guys. Boom, boom, look at that, boom. Peep that family guy in the background though. Alrighty, you guys see all four of them? So the reason I did that is just to show you guys that this is how all four of them look. I know some people, I wanna give you guys my most honest opinion. Yes, this is more of a collector's item. The only thing I see myself wearing ever outside is this right here. The rest of them all to me are collector's pieces. If I was ever to stunt and ever go all out, just it's not even a flex though, that's the thing. It's not a flex. It's just if you're really trying to put yourself out there, I would do this. That's my personal opinion. I would do this. If you're really trying to stunt, really trying to stunt for IG, and just to say you got the Gatorade Sixes, just to put hashtag Gatorade, hashtag be like Mike, and all that good stuff, then that's the combination I'll say you want to flex with. But besides that, there's nothing that great about the collection overall. Like, I feel like this is subpar. They just threw four colorways together just to say, yo, we got four colorways coming out. Let's maximize on profits. Let's do this. Let's do that. If they just kept it to this and this, I think I would have been happy. I feel like the collection itself would have done better. I don't think anyone wants a monotone colorway like this. Like, in all honesty, it's just not mono. Yeah, I think monochromatic. Monochromatic? I don't know. I'm not even sure the word trying to say right now I'm just so tired but it's just one color shade but on the orange you can actually see some characteristics like it actually has some flavor to it compared to the others on the inside even the leather continues on the back tab and it says be like Mike the details they put into a shoe and the customizations they did on the box that's what I love about this collaboration overall it's the fact that Gatorade went out of their way to not only just put their logo on the shoe, they did it on the box. They made sure that the box was special. Like, you know when you get a pair of 11s and you get that little paper inside and you get the little clear see-through tray that actually shows the 11 on it and everything like that? That's presentation to me and that's what I like about the Win Like My collection in general with the ones and I really hope to get the sixes because that's gonna be a grail in my collection in my opinion that's the one that i'm really going to be rocking and actually i wouldn't stock that because that's one that you can wear outside it's the most practical one out of colorway honestly this one here i wanted to pull that kite's home or fit off just go into a convenience store rock these pull out a gatorade sip on that you know that's pretty much it for the collection i hope you guys liked it i really wanted to show you all four like yo when I say I'm doing the most, I keep saying that a lot this video. You could turn that into a drinking game to see if you're overage, obviously. Don't do it if you're underage, please. You know, I'm trying to say that to save my ad revenue. <laughs> I'm just messing, but you know how YouTube be playing with AdSense these days. But anyways, I'm trying to really show you guys here what you guys are getting your money's worth for, you know. What did this cost me overall? And if we're going into pricing, these are 235 Canadian. I am Canadian, so I'm gonna give you the Canadian prices. So 235 Canadian. 
maybe the only one I would get is this. So if you really want it for a collection piece, yeah. Do I see this one going on sale and hitting sale eventually? Maybe. Maybe they're gonna pull it off Nike.ca before it does that. Eventually it might sell out, but probably not. I see at least one of these colorways are gonna hit the sale shelves. And you're gonna see it in an outlet store. You're gonna see it somewhere. And you're gonna get to pick it up for less or just wait till a coupon code is valid on it because you will probably be able to do that. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's not too long. Hopefully I don't look too tired. You see the bags under my eyes? That's money talking. How else are we financing these videos, you know? We gotta make sure that the card don't get declined when I tap it at the counter. Holy, tired as hell. Anyways guys, I'm gonna get some sleep. Hopefully I put this video up and you guys enjoy it. It will probably be a double upload. Happened on the same day I recorded the Christmas video. I just changed into this lumberjack flow cause I'm not rocking a Christmas sweater for this. Anyways guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your favorite color in the comment section down below. If you're copying it, let me know down below. Just leave a good comment, share positive vibes. I'm really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers soon and I will put in that work, trust me. Thank you guys for rocking with me so far. Just to even have 600 people watching this, like it blows my mind, even though that's not a lot. To me, it just is progression because I didn't share my channel with friends or family. I just kind of let it organically get to this point. I did not do any promotion. So just having even 600 people means the world to me. And I don't know, maybe looking back at this video, there'll be more subscribers. I'll be like, damn, I was only at 600. Maybe this will make this video feel dated because I'm even mentioning my subscriber count. But make sure that like, comment, subscribe if you really mess with me, want to see more videos, more Supreme stuff on the way, more good stuff on the way. Trust me, there's some good heat, some fire dropping. I'm gonna make sure this break to record videos so you guys aren't feeling dry when I go back to school and put in that work on that GPA. So make sure to do that. And obviously, if you don't know, I got a Spotify playlist and that thing is Fuego. Listen to it. There's some bumping tracks on there. Toronto Man's on there. You got Killy on there. You got 88 Glam on there, all that good stuff. So vibe out with me. It's a vibe Spotify playlist down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.